Hi guys, back again. Um, I miss you guys a lot. I hope you're doing well and you're staying healthy and you're making good choices while you're at home. Um, I know that I have had a lot of different emotions. I've been sad, I've been scared, um, you know, um, the whole bit. Um, so I'm taking this time right now to read again. Um, I find that that really helps me and so I thought I would share it with you all um, and hopefully it helps you as well. Um, so I'm going to read from Where the Sidewalk Ends Again by Shel Silverstein. Um, I don't have too many kids' books at home, unfortunately, so, um, but I love these stories, um, and hopefully you guys do too. Um, it's also, reading poems is also really good for practicing our visualizing skills, which is what we've been doing, um, at school. Um, so there is a picture for this poem, but I'm not going to show you just yet. Um, I want you to see... I want you to picture something in your head and then compare it to what the what Shel Silverstein shows for the picture in here too, okay? All right, so here it goes. This one is called Orchestra. So you haven't got a drum, just beat your belly. So I haven't got a horn, I'll play my nose. So we haven't any cymbals, we'll just slap our hands together. And though there may be orchestras that sound a little better, with their fancy, shiny instruments that cost an awful lot. Hey, we're making music twice as good by playing what we've got. So here we go. Look at that. He turned his nose into a clarinet or a flute, and this guy's using his belly as a drum. Pretty cool, right? There's the little village there. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know we're trying, we have to be pretty resourceful right now with the things that we have at home um, and just like these guys are with the orchestra. So, um, yeah, if you uh, like the story, let me know. Um, uh, again, I miss you guys and I hope I can see you again soon, um, but just know that I'm thinking about you all. And, um, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.